Okay, boys and girls, as you're finishing up your three abstract ink splatter pictures, um, a couple things I want to mention to you is that if these are a little bit wet still, you do not want to use your marker to draw on top of the wet spot. Let me zoom in here really quick. If this spot is really, really wet, and it's still, I can feel that it's a little bit cold and wet from my paint. I don't wanna take my marker and color on the wet spots because what's gonna happen is I'm going to rip my paper and it's gonna be a big hole through my paper. So I don't want to draw on the wet spots, only the spots that are dry around the wet spots, okay? Now, what if I wanna add some details to the wet spots? Well, that's when I'm gonna put my marker aside and I'm gonna use the paint at my table. So at your table, you have a little paint tray with a water cup and a rag to wipe your brush on. You have some really skinny, skinny brushes. See how skinny these are? The tip of the brush is so much skinnier than the tip of my finger. So these are great, just like the tip of your marker is really, really skinny. These paint brushes are great to add little skinny details. So you also have this little paint tray at your table with lots of colors. So let's say I have my little ink splatter and I want to add some paint colors to this creature on top of the wet part. I'm gonna use my paint for that. So I'll just take my paint tray and dip in the color that I want. And I'll use that color to paint somewhere on my creature, but I have to make sure I use the very tip of the brush, okay? I do not want my brush to scoot on its bottom like this. I just want it to be on the very tippy top, dancing on its tippy toes. So I think I wanna add some red details to the eye right here, like a really spooky eye. So I can use the tip of my brush to add some details there. Um, I think I wanna add some red to the tongue. So just like my pencil, I'm just using the tippy top of my pencil on my paintbrush. There we go. Um, what if I wanna add some details right in here? This is a very wet area. So I think I will wash my brush off and dip in a new color. I think I want to add some little white spots. So see how I'm not ripping my paper because I'm using my wet paint. Wet paint on top of wet paint is fine, but marker on top of wet paint is not so great. Uh, maybe I want to add some details in the big ears here. I can take maybe some blue. Very tippy top of my brush. Okay, so I can keep adding some details to this one. I can add some color to this one or this one that I finished. This is kind of a cute creature with some big eyes, a nose, and a little mouth. So maybe I want to add some nice bright pink hair to this girl creature monster. So I can just paint right on top, very tippy top of my brush. Okay, so I, I want everyone to try and use some color today with your paint after you've drawn some details with your marker. One, two, three, okay.